Welcome to Today on 2. Yes, happy day after Thanksgiving. Yeah, I know what that means. Oh, it's Christmas. We can, Woo, celebrate, we can Christmas. celebrate Christmas It's now. about time. Yay. I've been waiting all year. Yes. All through the no month of November when nobody wants to celebrate Christmas. Except for Joel. Except for Joel's me. ready. I have He's made got it. it. We have made it. We're putting up the tree today. Yes, it's time. <laughs> Woo! I hope everybody's Thanksgivings were great. How was your Thanksgiving? It was wonderful. Fantastic. Exactly. I'm sure it was. Yes. I have had a, I had a good Thanksgiving too. Got to That's spend awesome. a lot of time with family. We don't Perfect. get to see them a lot because of true. school and work and other things. <laughs> yeah. But um, it's tough being a twenty-something, is, isn't it? It is tough being a twenty-something. But nonetheless, it is after Thanksgiving, and all the Black Friday shoppers are back sleeping in their beds right now, and mm -hmm. everything is just calm yes and uh we right have before a, the iron bolt right tomorrow, before the iron and everything bolt, goes crazy and everything goes crazy <laughs> so uh we got a great show lined up for everybody um let's go ahead and start off with our da -da 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 weather weather let's, let's start off with the weather brought to you by mitch smith mm -hmm. chevrolet make the switch to mitch let's go ahead and take a look at our almanac the november 28th almanac looks like this the average high is 60 degrees the record was set at 80 degrees in 1973. That's a wow. hot day after Thanksgiving. The average low is going to be 33 degrees, with the record being set at 13 degrees Ooh, and in that is 1938. <laughs> Sunset tonight at 4.38 p.m. Sunrise tomorrow at 6.33 a.m. Let's look at our forecast. Today it's going to be mostly clear with a high of 52 and no chance of rain. The overnight low is going to be 32 degrees. Tomorrow it looks like it's going to warm up just a little bit. 62. Ooh. Iron Bowl day. That's gonna. Hey, that's, that's a gonna nice day nice. right yeah, there. That is a nice. good day right there. So, and today we are going to start doing something a little bit different on Fridays. Mm -hmm. We're going to do the Twitter friend of the day. We are. So uh, let's take a look at that. It looks like our Twitter follower of the day is Benjamin McNeil, and of course you can follow him at the Ben McNeil. So thank you so much for following us on Twitter. We really appreciate it, and we're going to give you a large barbecue sandwich from Mad Dog Mike's Famous Barbecue. Of course, just come by here and get your certificate because unfortunately we do not have the sandwich here in the studio. Otherwise, we would have eaten it by now. Right. So we just keep the certificate, and you can head on up to um, Berlin to Mad Dog exactly. Mike's and get your sandwich. So and of course, go on and follow us on Twitter if you haven't. Mm -hmm. Twitter that's uh, it's a new medium uh, well it's not new but it's a new for us kind mm -hmm. of we're yeah. uh, we are venturing that into that one. that so. district so uh, yeah follow us on there and uh, hopefully you'll be our Twitter follower of the week yes so um, let's go ahead and take a look at um, we have something cool for everybody mm -hmm. we have a cool Facebook ad or uh, live ad and Finders Keepers is celebrating their half dozen days of Christmas and of course they have a Black Friday discount day today and all through the weekend there it is. Goodness. It's a celebration. <laughs> and of course, November 29th, the special discounts will be available all weekend. And they'll ha have a vintage Santa and toy sale Tuesday, December 2nd. It's a large selection of spent special vintage Santas and toys from an estate, and they will be available for purchase. And we will be keeping you updated on their half dozen days of Christmas um, all through next week. So Absolutely. keep following us because Finders Keepers just has some really unique... Um, Gift ideas uh, for those of you that they love They have antiques. some cool Santa dolls. They do. They really do. neat Santa dolls over there. So, go check them so out. So go check them out. There's some really cool, some really neat things yeah, in there. I think stuff. you'll find something you have never seen before. And uh, this day in history, uh, it marks the anniversary of the first American automobile race. It, take, it took place over 54 miles from Chicago's Jackson Park to Evanston, Illinois. And um, funny story about that race it took over 10 hours for the person for who ended 54 up miles. for 54 miles. It wow. took 10 hours for the first person to show up. The second wow. person to show up two hours later. Wow. And those were the only two people to finish the race. What happened to the other people? There were 89 people that registered for this race and 89? only six of them raced because there was a like 
torrential downpour of snow and there was like eight inches of snow and so only six cars were able to get to the wow. starting line um the winner received two thousand wow. dollars um and yeah. uh i guess it was worth it i mean it. i think it would be worth braving the snow for i think so <laughs> it, they had a, and what was funny was they had to equip their cars they had to wrap their tires in tweed so that it could give them, give them traction on the snow so <laughs> yeah the things you learn that's things so that of learn. course now we got nash car and ricky bobby and all these really famous NASCAR. Oh, he's not a real NASCAR driver. I take that back. Dale Earnhardt's who I was thinking of. They're the yes, same thing. I'm sure. Like um, so uh, that, that's our day in history. We've got a great show lined up for everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, we are going to be doing some... Mm, some fun some things. Some fun things. We are going to be cooking. Yay. Woo! We're great in the so kitchen. Exciting. You're going to see gonna that. So we're going to uh, So we're going to come back and we're going to cook a couple of treats for you now. We're going to cook a couple of treats for you later. So uh, don't go away because we'll be right back. Losing feeling in my toes. Nothing beats that new car smell. Chicken bar, you taste so good. I sell paintings of cats. I sell antique cameras. I sell mufflers. Surfboard stemware. I have no idea how to pack this. I need help. I need experts. It's fragile. Can you be trusted? The UPS store pack and ship guarantee. We pack it, we ship it, we guarantee it. So if anything happens to this, we'll take care of it. I love logistics. We pack it, we ship it, we guarantee it at the UPS store. Hi, I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank. And I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service, and we're open on Saturdays. Overwhelmed by home refinancing offers from telephone solicitors and direct mail advertising, and then find you're not qualified for a specific plan? The Mortgage Center, a hometown lender, compares the rates from all home loan lenders and the qualifications of the various government programs to find a plan best suited to you. The Mortgage Center helps Coleman County people purchase and refinance their homes. This is Pat Moody. Call us today and let us tailor a loan program to your specific needs and requirements. Welcome back to Today on 2. Today we have a lot of stuff lined up on this table. It looks like a lot it. of good stuff. So what are we going to start off with today? We are going to start off with a, it's like a cheese ball, but it's oh, not cheese. It's a holiday it's peanut, peanut butter, butter ball. and chocolate. Yeah. And it looks absolutely delicious. And you just need cream cheese. You need some peanut butter. Um, what else do you need? The confectioner sugar. Confectioner sugar yeah. and brown sugar. Well, that's, I think we have actually. I think we actually have most of the ingredients at the bottom of the screen. So let's roll through those and see what all we have. All right. We need. Uh, let's start off with a package of cream cheese. Yes, that's right. Very important. Very that's probably important. The most important thing one of the, the most important butter. things. We're going to need a cup of powdered sugar. We're going to need three-fourths of a cup of creamy peanut butter. I mean, you can use crunchy if you like that kind of texture, but for me, I prefer, uh, if I'm cooking, I want creamy peanut butter. Right. And then you'll also need three tablespoons of packed brown sugar. And then you're going to need three-fourths of a cup of chocolate chips. Mm -hmm. And as well, you're also going to need peanut butter chips. Now, we use chocolate chips. Um, that were semi-sweet and milk chocolate. So on our table here, we have a nice little variety. Right. So all you do, we're going to start with it from here. And you, you beat all the ingredients that are not chocolate chips right. together. And you're going to let them wrap them in this ball shape. Here we use plastic wrap. And you're just going to let it chill until it's fairly solid to work with. Ours is not nearly as chilled as we would like it to be. But we're going to try it anyway. So once it's chilled and it's in the ball shape, you're just going to take it out. Here, right. let's move these. And you're gonna roll it in the peanut butter chips and the chocolate chips. 
Right, just get them all over it. And this would be a great project if like you have kids because I know I used to love cooking with my mom and doing like the gross like squishy things. Hands on, yeah. yes. Making dumplings was my favorite thing. Uh -huh. And you just roll it. Just get all. Put them all in there. Yeah. yeah. See, it's so easy. The hardest part is waiting for it to chill, really. And um, when we, when mixing all of the ingredients together, and and actually just as a heads up, we're gonna put all these uh, recipes onto On our, our Facebook, Facebook page. page. Yes. Yeah, so, so you, you can, can go get them there. But um, while we were mixing stuff together, we didn't have a mixer. Um, but, it is, but it is possible, be, yes, to use a wooden spoon, <laughs> yes. as we found out. It's not um, as easy, but it is possible. So right. if you're a, a big into DIY kind of things, yeah. you can use a wooden spoon. But, I mean, I wish we'd had a mixer that myself. Been, I <laughs> also wish, because I was the one mixing, yes, that we had a mixer. Yes, manpower over here did our mixing. <laughs> so you get all your chocolate chips. You can roll it. You can press them on, sprinkle it, however you want to. All, all right. your chocolate peanut butter chips. Then you're going to chill it for a little bit longer. Yeah, you chill it for about two two hours is what it mm -hmm. said after before you serve it right we are not going to do that right now though <laughs> we obviously we don't have that it. kind of time so when you serve it you're going to serve it with some graham crackers and see doesn't it look like a cheese ball right here yeah it does looks like a beautiful little cheese ball i'm impressed with us it is chocolate and peanut butter and right. I mean, you can't go wrong with those you two things. You can't go wrong I at think. all. Absolutely. So that is our first dish that we have for you all. Yeah, super easy. It's great for um, taking to parties because that's something, I mean, look at it. It's huge. Yeah. I mean, it's about yay big. So. Right. And it's very easy. It's super, make. super easy. Just see, just remember to let it chill. Yeah. That's the, that's that is the, the main thing. the important part. So for our next recipe, we are going to make some Grinch kebabs. They're super cute. They're really easy. And while we make the Grinch kebabs, if you will go ahead and start yeah, chocolate, ahead and start for, chocolate for our next, for the next recipe. One. Sure so will. I will give that to you. Thank you so much. And so what we're going to need for these Grinch kebabs is just um, green grapes, just like regular, you know, green supermarket grapes. We're going to need some strawberries, bananas and some little mini marshmallows we all what we did was cut up the um the big, big giant marshmallows because that's what we had but and they're cheap any kind of marshmallows yes so what we're going to do we're going to put these on these. right we're going to put these on knives so you can see it a little bit better but we're going to take a green grape and just slide it on to the toothpick or the knife or what have you whatever you're making it with right and then you're going to take a slice of the banana and slide it on I think now's a good time to start singing your mean one, Mr. Grinch. Right. And you're going to cut the top off the strawberry and slide it on. See, it's looking like a Grinch now. Huh? Right, 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 right. And to finish it off, just top it with a marshmallow. And right. there you have it. And you have a little it Grinch. It is a Grinch. And Joel likes to give it some chocolate chip eyes. Which you're right. more than welcome to do. Which you're more than welcome to do, and you can you can Just set, press you him can in. credit me. Ta -da! There you go. And there he is. There is a there is a little Grinch for you. He it is um, like a great Grinch. It is a great Grinch, and they taste great. They and, do. But well, mainly we really wanted to do this one because yesterday we were like, all of this stuff is really bad for you. So why this one is a little healthier. Why don't we get some fruit? And again, <laughs> this one is super easy if you're making stuff with your kids or grandkids. Oh my gosh, right. he just fell off. Oh, That's well. okay. Um, things to take to your kids like school parties whatever because they're really cracking down on what you can and cannot bring to schools now so surprise so i mean i think just a little bit of chocolate and marshmallow on this would be fine well, of course myself. yeah absolutely so put a couple more of these together joel i'm not gonna ask what you just did nothing. i'm not gonna ask nothing just keep the splash keep of strawberry we are we are give him a hat you want we to went to now I, i'm sure most of you haven't heard of the school but we actually went to cordon red it's kind of yes, like cordon some, blue some, yes that's where we learned our um it's a little more private skills. yeah it's a little more elite i mean it's, i had to try a couple of times to get in it and it's really but, good to uh it's really good to uh to use strawberries when you're cooking because it's just chock full of vitamin mm -hmm. blah. right lots of them good lots, lots of, of that <laughs> yes. vitamin so and here's our Grinch kebabs. We have plenty of them. Um, again, it's a good, uh, it's great for kids. It's, uh, you know, getting getting them into the fruit and uh, the uh, the good stuff. Yeah. So, let's see, is our chocolate <laughs> Let's see, is our chocolate about ready? Had it going for about two minutes. And the easy thing about this recipe is it's just chocolate and Ritz crackers and peanut butter. 
and that's all it is and this is one of my favorite recipes i've been making this since i was a little girl since i was old enough to help cook and all you do you're going to melt your chocolate eh, maybe a little bit longer yeah it needs a little bit more you're going to while and while your chocolate is melting I'm gonna move these grapes out of the way you're going to take some ritz crackers and just make some peanut butter crackers that's all of course make sure you take the seal off of the peanut butter that's yes. one of the really important yes. steps it just makes i mean some things it just makes it, it easier it just makes it you know? easier when you do that <laughs> so, thank you Chuck. so while your chocolate's melting just make peanut butters again all these recipes that we're doing are super super kid friendly because i know i used to love um christmas baking with my grandmother and that was these are, this is the kind of stuff that we made and i'm probably was a lot more of a hindrance than a help right because i was little but that's okay anyways not much has changed since uh being in the kitchen so <laughs> yes <laughs> since, since just, all, because we couldn't I'm get just it yesterday kidding. just is that what do you say i think we're fine i think that'll okay. be good and so all you do is melt the chocolate and dip <laughs> The cookies, the cookies, the chocolate. Even. I'm never letting you melt chocolate again, Joel. Never again. It's this supposed to be a little smoother than this, but I'm afraid we burned it. <laughs> so don't burn your chocolate. <laughs> so, and you just sit it out and let it dry. And obviously, Joel is also more of a hindrance than they, in the kitchen. They taste a lot better than yes. They these look are right these now. are delicious. It's almost like they are homemade Reese cups. Right. Because you've got you, the peanut butter, the chocolate, and the, the Ritz cracker just gives it a little bit of extra texture. Right. We, um, the problem that we are having is that our, our microwave here at the station has one setting on it, and it's really hot. So, so, so do, watch your, do watch your chocolate because you don't want it to scorch. Right. And so, don't let Joel cook your chocolate also. Awesome. <laughs> so we have our peanut butter ball, we have our Grinch kebabs, we have our chocolate peanut butter crackers, and we're going to show you some more neat recipes in a second. Yeah. So don't go away. We'll be right back. own home furnishings is locally owned and operated by Dan Stevens, offering bedroom furnishings including mattresses and bedding, living room furnishings including sofas, lugs, and recliners, dinettes, appliances, and more. Not in stock? We'll order it. King mattresses starting at just $5.99, queen mattresses starting at $4.99, and adjustable beds with queen memory foam starting at $14.99. Great prices, brand names, cash or payments, free delivery, $20 for referrals. Located at 315 4th Street Southwest. Call 256-734-4545. We make it easy, you make it happen. Hi, I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank. And I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service and we're open on Saturdays. With classic bolognese behind you, there are racks of lamb ahead. There are tartlets to take on and crazy knife skills to perfect. There is you and your muse, the appliance brand more chefs choose. Chefs choose KitchenAid for their homes more than any other brand. And when every machine does incredible things, there's so much more to make. Welcome back to the show. This is the part of the show where we like to give away some prizes. Mm -hmm. So, unfortunately, today is a holiday, <laughs> so, so we, we don't, don't have any prizes. prizes. <laughs> we are sorry. It's uh, but but you can uh, definitely keep your eyes and ears open to learn. Yeah. This um, is like studying for next week's test, exactly. So you can know, you know, know what's the, answer know for the answer for next week's prizes. Exactly. So let's go ahead and start looking at these merchant ads. Of course, right here on today on two. 
The Red Door Emporium. <laughs> they serve breakfast and lunch, and it's artfully delicious. They say, we'll save you a seat. Monday through Friday, 7 to 5, Saturday, 7 to 1, next to the Coleman Times. And Be Fit is a fitness facility in downtown Coleman. It's located next to Renard's Gallery. It's only $100 per month, and that's month to month, no contract, and your membership includes a free personal trainer. Tommy Warhurst is your local farmer's insurance agent. He's located next to Specialty Pharmacy. You can call today for your free quote or visit the WarhurstAgency.com. And Reese's Peanut Butter Cups is our Blizzard of the Month from Dairy Queen. There's only a couple of days left to get that. You know, chocolate peanut butter, obviously those are some of my favorite things because that's what we've been cooking with all day. <laughs> so go by and get your Blizzard. All right, the Coleman Wellness and Aquatic Center, they have tons of fitness opportunities, including a six-lane competition pool, a full fitness facility, and lots of other stuff. And Steel Orchard offers the highest quality products at the lowest possible price since 1985. Their um, Christmas baked goods are now available, and of course, they might have some things left over from Thanksgiving. But they uh, they almost taste as good as our chocolate mm -hmm. peanut butter crackers. Chesley Oaks Golf Course is an 18-hole golf course facility. Go check them out. Open seven to seven, seven days a week. That's Chesley Oaks Golf Course. And and Frosting's Bakery, their flavors of the month are Payday, S'mores, Banana Walnut, and Caramel Pumpkin. I was in there the other day, and those are the biggest cupcakes I have ever seen. They are delicious, so go check them out at Frosting's Bakery next to the movie theater. Mad Dog Mike's Famous Barbecue, featuring the family barbecue package. It's a pound of meat, 216 ounce size, and four buns, located in the Berlin Quick Stop. Go check them out today. Earl's Body Shop was voted Best Automotive Repair in Coleman. They do large and small towing, and they do it local or long distance. You can also go ask them about their 24-hour towing, and Earl's is on Highway 31 North. Casa Cafe, they have specials every day, including tacos, fajitas, burritos, and more. They have a buffet on Friday and Saturday. Go check them out. That's Casa Cafe. All right, that's the first round of our merchant ads right here on the show. Now we're going to take a look at Money Matters, and it's brought to you by Premier Bank. Hi, I'm Caitlin with Premier Bank, and this is Ashley. Today, Ashley's going to tell us a little bit about our Christmas loan sale. We are currently running a Christmas loan sale. Stop by one of our 10 locations and fill out an application to see if you qualify. Certain restrictions do apply. If you have any questions, you can call us at 256-737-9900. Thanks, and we hope to see you soon. All right, those are our merchant ads for today. Uh, we're just, you know what, it's the day after Thanksgiving. We're just feeling a little bit happy. I mean, Christmas is coming. How could you not be happy? <laughs> so uh, we're going to come right back to show you just a little bit more of the uh, of our cooking expertise. Yes, misadventures in the kitchen the with Joel and Tony. Yes. So uh, don't go away. We'll be right back. There are moments in your life you want to remember forever. Preserve them in stone with the fine jewelry you'll find at Doug Doggett Jewelers in Coleman. Whether you're looking for the finest quality stones, designer jewelry, or a custom piece designed with your moment in mind, our knowledgeable and friendly staff can meet your needs. Selection, quality, expertise. You'll find all of this and more at Doug Doggett Jewelers. For your next unforgettable moment, come to Doug Doggett Jewelers in Coleman. As a local auto owner's independent agency, we are dedicated to assisting you in your time of need. We live and work right in your community, and we're available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Fortunately, emergencies don't happen every day, but when they do, we're here to personally see you through. For life, home, car, and business insurance, call us, your local independent auto owner's agent today. As soon as you've conquered Coco Vin, there's chocolate to souffle, there's baklava to build from scratch, and Bernays to top epic fillets. There is you and your guts, and heat that you can trust. KitchenAid Even Heat technology gives you incredible control over sautéing, melting, and simmering, and the most even baking across all racks. And when everything you try turns out, there's so much more to make. Hi, I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank. And I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service, and we're open on Saturdays.
Welcome back to the show. We have a couple of more treats for you today. Let's go ahead and start off with the first one. What are we going to start off with? Um, we are going to start off by talking about a no-bake peanut butter Twix pie. But if you will go ahead, we are also going to go over a really neat hot chocolate recipe. Right. So if Joel will start, hopefully, will start. hopefully this will go better than eating the chocolate dish. Uh, hilarious. Um, you're going to heat a couple of cups of milk and you can do it in the microwave, you can do it on the stove, but we'll give you details on that in just a second. What we want to talk about right now is called, it's a no-bake peanut butter Twix pie. And the ingredients are just shortbread cookie crumbs. You're going to need some butter, some cream cheese, some peanut butter, a cup or half a cup of regular, um, just white granulated sugar, vanilla extract, and some semi-sweet chocolate, and some containers of Cool Whip. So all you're going to do, you're going to cool put whip. the you're going to put the cookie crumbs and the butter together. Um, make sure the butter is melted and the cookies are crushed. You're going to beat the cream cheese till it's smooth and you're going to add the peanut butter, the sugar, and the vanilla. You're going to mix all of that together and when all of that is mixed, you're going to add a container of the Cool Whip, which is going to make the um, filling that you see here. So once that's finished, you're going to add um, you're going to add it to your thing. We didn't have a pie plate, so we used a casserole. So ours looks a little bit different than yeah, nothing wrong with that. So ours looks a little bit different, I think, than the picture that you saw on the recipe. But that's just because we used a different a different dish. So for this um, chocolate part of the topping, you just add your melted four ounces of chocolate. You can use milk chocolate, semi-sweet chocolate, white chocolate would probably be good, whatever kind of chocolate you want to use. And a cup of the um, Cool Whip, the remaining Cool Whip. Mix that together and pour it on top. And there you have it. We added some of the um, milk chocolate chips and peanut butter chips on top. That was our, that was our, our little much. addition. So, <coughs> and uh, the cool thing about this um, this hot chocolate recipe is, um, so we're basically what it is is you're going to take your favorite kind of hot chocolate. Um, mm -hmm. I had Swiss Miss hot chocolate at That's my just house. Classic. So, so, so I classic. so we use that, and, but you can use any kind. Um, you can also use um, unsweetened cocoa mm -hmm. um, and powder sweeten and sweeten it yourself with whatever you want to sweeten it with. Um, so you use your your, your favorite hot chocolate. And uh, then what you do is you're going to um, you're going to mix a cup of milk per serving and two tablespoons of the hot cocoa together. You're and of course, mix if you like up. stronger chocolate, you can add more. You can use water, but right. I prefer hot, exactly. my hot chocolate with milk. It makes it a little creamier. And the the cool thing about it is is um, is we we've met, we're making this in the microwave, um, but you can also boil the milk on the stove. Um, if you if you did it on the stove, what you would do is you would boil the cup of milk. As it comes to a boil, you're going to whisk in the uh, hot chocolate mix. Mm -hmm. So uh, so you'll have those two together. And then there's another element to this that Tani's working on right now. So what are you working on, Tani? I am putting some peanut butter along the rim of the mug. And this is where the peanut butter part of the peanut butter hot chocolate comes from. And this is just a cool, um, a cool little addition. It's not super necessary, I guess, but especially if you're serving this like at a party or if Joel's trying to impress a girl on a oh, date. Hilarious. It just makes your mug look so much prettier. Oh. So you just put a little bit of hot chocolate around the rim of your mug. Right. Not hot chocolate, peanut butter. Peanut butter, right. But hot chocolate would not stay on the rim <laughs> of the mug, I'm afraid. And I'm going to be Joel trying to impress a girl, so I'm making Look two that. servings. Look, Look at, at me. me go. Look at you go, Joel. You're so good at this. So, so smooth. The, the, um, we are cooking the hot chocolate in the microwave for two minutes. Um, we're, and, and basically, I'm taking it out every about 45 seconds. Um, just to check on how warm it is and again mm -hmm. you can do this honestly if I had a stovetop I would do it on the stovetop yeah, but so um, but it really doesn't just matter tell how how hot it we is had it, the temperature yeah we, and, and we did but we did it yesterday in the microwave and it mm -hmm. tasted just fine it was yes it was delicious it's really good actually so while you keep working on the hot chocolate part of this once you've got your peanut butter all along the rim of your mug you're gonna take some crushed graham crackers I've crushed them already for your convenience and you're just gonna take the edge of the mug and dip it in the graham crackers. So it's almost like a like the <laughs> like remember a peanut, martini, like, or a, like a martini like glass. A peanut butter margarita. Yes. So, and just do it gently. I should, could have probably crushed these a little bit, made them a little bit finer, but however it works for you. And see, ta-da! All, All right, right. so our hot chocolate is ready to be poured. This is my least favorite part of the whole thing. Yes. 
because it's a little messy. It's a little remember. messy, right. but... Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pour this in. All right, it's going in there nicely. Just go ahead and All right, there. I'll just fill this one yeah, up. Yeah, go ahead and fill that one up. There All we go. Right. And um, apparently, due to our... Um, I really like our hot chocolate, and yeah. that wasn't quite enough for that one, but, no, but that's okay. That's fine. So, the recipe that we used for this said that you could toast your marshmallows. You're welcome to do that, but we can't quite toast marshmallows in the microwave. And that's fine. So, we just have regular big marshmallows. You're going to plop them in. All right. And there you go. And then uh, a cool little last finishing touch. So take some graham crackers and just kind of sprinkle them on top there. Yeah, you can sprinkle uh, graham crackers. Put, some, put some, some chocolate chips on top of there. They're just, listen, it's just... So many cool ways you that. can do this hot chocolate recipe. And All look, right. hold it up here. Yeah, you can hold it up for them to see. Good deal. All it's right, okay. so we hope that you have enjoyed. And here comes a special guest to uh, Ooh, just what kind would of... You like? <laughs> which would you like to try first? <laughs> And we also have some pie. We also have and some pie. Forks. Look at that, <laughs> Dennis. It's just take, Grab it. just just take one and go. Take <laughs> look at that. Those are gonna They're be. They're not quite dry yet, but that's okay. Taste test. Oh, look Good. at that. <laughs> Yay! Oh, Dennis approved. Woo, Dennis, Dennis approved. Awesome. Kid made okay. Dennis approved. Woo. That's our motto. So, um, thank you so much for uh, for you. tuning in today. We're uh, we hope that you have enjoyed this segment. And we'll put all these recipes on our Facebook page. If you want to follow them, you can see the links where we um, created them. Absolutely. So, and, and uh, happy Iron Bowl weekend. As you can yes. see, we have our we have our Auburn and Alabama mugs here. Go Alabama. Does there you go. The, doesn't really matter. We don't care. All right, let's, let's switch. Let's there switch. you go. Okay, mine tastes better. There you go. There you go. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back with more today on Two. Don't go away. Finders Keepers is a unique and fun shopping experience. Lovely antiques, collectibles, or vintage items, we have what you're looking for at Finders Keepers in downtown Coleman. Furniture, repurposed items, and treasures from the past, they all make the store a fun place to shop. Fashion accessories and even original art are offered by local artisans. It's truly a unique shopping experience. Merry Christmas from us all at Finders Keepers. Hi, I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank. And I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service, and we're open on Saturdays. own home furnishings is locally owned and operated by Dan Stevens, offering bedroom furnishings including mattresses and bedding, living room furnishings including sofas, lugs, and recliners, dinettes, appliances, and more. Not in stock? We'll order it. King mattresses starting at just $5.99, queen mattresses starting at $4.99, and adjustable beds with queen memory foam starting at $14.99. Great prices, brand names, cash or payments, free delivery, $20 for referrals. Located at 315 4th Street Southwest. Call 256-734-4545. We make it easy, you make it happen. Our community billboards are brought to you by Pepsi and Coleman Jefferson Gas. 
And you can come see Santa at the South Walgreens on November 29th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Each child will receive a free Christmas card. Wallace State Community College, there's a certified nursing assistant ph phlebotomy program and there's a free information session happening December 2nd at 5.30 p.m. in the Bailey Center in room 911 and you can call the number at the bottom of your screen for more information. By recycling your aluminum cans through the Coleman Animal Shelter, you can help them provide for their homeless animals. They have a recycling bin at their location and all donations are welcome. If you have a community billboard you'd like to share with us, just visit us on the web at channel2coleman.com. You can call us at 256-734-7399 or be our friend on Facebook at Channel2Coleman. And we'd like to wish a happy birthday to Jake Ledbetter and Mr. Bob Keefe. And those names are going to be put into the drawing that's happening in just a second to win the ice cream cake from Dairy Queen. And we're going to do that drawing right now. So let's go ahead and do it. Da -da 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 and Miss Erin Cress is our winner, so congratulations. And you can come by here and pick up your certificate and take it over to Dairy Queen and you yeah. can get your free ice cream cake. Come by and get that. Congratulations and happy birthday to everybody else who had birthdays this week. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's go ahead and we're going to go through some of these ads again just uh, just to make sure we uh, we get those on the air because of uh, some foolery that was happening on set here. And uh, So let's go ahead and run those ads real quick. Pizza Hut, it's an all-you-can-eat lunch buffet, a new featured pizza each day, and a lunch buffet from 11 to 2. Now it's only $5.99, so what a deal. Go check them out. They also have a Sunday night buffet from 5 to 8 p.m. Jolly Town Rentals, you can get your license inflatable slides, water slides, your obstacle courses, your bounce slide combos, and concession equipment rentals there at Jolly Town Rentals. You can call them at the number at the bottom of the screen. Berkeley Bob's Coffee House and Whole Earth Store, they have a lot of coffee. They also have Keys. So go check them out. They also have a great lineup of upcoming events shown right there. You can go check them out. Open mic night is Monday, December 1st. Hair by Loretta. Miss Loretta is a color specialist and she provides hair care for the whole family. You can call her at 256-590-6681 for an appointment. That is Hair by Loretta. Deb's Bookstore. It's your hometown bookstore just down the road. Free mug with a purchase of a $25 gift certificate. Go check her out. She has all the latest, greatest books, and she also can give you good uh, examples of books. Grand Point Pharmacy is also a coffee shop and a gift shop. Kids can now choose the flavor of their medicines. That's a new feature that they had added recently. And, of course, they are located on Highway 31. Mr. Hicks Menswear and Formal Wear. It's Coleman's only men's specialty store for suits and sport coats. Go check them out. They're located on 217 Compass Way. Cotton State Barns, you can buy or you can rent to own. There's no credit check. You are approved. Their barns start at just $14.96. They also have carports, play sets, utility trailers, and storage buildings. They're located on 278 West. Tires for less. They do oil changes, minor engine repairs, and they feature lots of tires, including Bridgestone and Firestone. They're open, and there are their availabilities there at the screen. Mullins Body Shop, you've counted on them for over 50 years for your auto body repair and service, and you can count on them today. Call them at 3 at 734-1353. And those are our merchant ads. We hope that you saw somebody that you uh, maybe piqued your interest in them, maybe never heard about. Go check them out today. They are some great people. <laughs> and that is our show for today. Good, just hope you found something. Maybe try one of those treats that we made. You know, we got some uh, got some good stuff there for the holiday season coming up. So we hope you enjoy your weekend. Uh, of course, uh, happy late Thanksgiving to everybody. Mm -hmm. and happy Iron Bowl weekend. Happy Iron Bowl weekend. Everybody stay safe, and uh, we'll see you next week.